In this video, I will introduce you to the golden ratio. Sometimes it's called the golden mean or the golden proportion. Golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence. You met the word ratio way back in grade 7 math when you studied ratio and proportions. So what ideas comes into your mind when you speak about ratio? Well, these are the things that probably come into your mind. Proportion, fraction, okay, because the ratio would appear to you like a fraction, and you perform the operation of division when you produce the fraction. So these are the things that probably come into your mind when you think about ratio or proportion. Okay, so before we go to the idea of the golden ratio or the golden proportion, let us look into the meaning of being out of proportion. What does it mean when something is out of proportion? Well, it means that that something does not have the correct size or scale in relation to other things. But that is just another way of saying it does not look good. It is not pretty. Okay, so let us look into the meaning of being in proportion. So if being out of proportion is not manifesting the correct size or scale in relation to other things, so what does it mean when something is in proportion? Proportion means an agreeable or harmonious relationship of one thing relative to another. And that is like saying that something looks good, that something looks pretty. And so when something that is in proportion looks pretty or looks good, you can just imagine how much, how much more pretty and how much more beautiful that something is if that something has a proportion which is equal to the golden ratio. And the golden ratio is in fact a number. It is an irrational number which is approximately 1.618. So the first description of the golden ratio or the golden proportion is given by Euclid. And you know who Euclid was in the history of math. He is the mathematician who is credited to have started geometry. And so according to him, the golden ratio is defined in the following way. The golden ratio occurs when the ratio of the entire line segment, okay, pay attention to this, this is your entire line segment. When the ratio of the entire line segment to the longer segment, which is A, is equal to the ratio of the longer segment to the shorter segment. And if that is equal, if that is equal, that ratio is what we call the golden ratio. The golden ratio is called by other names. It's called the golden mean, the golden proportion, the divine section. Okay, I will show to you my attempts to produce a rectangle that shows the golden proportion. Okay, I will show it to you. Well, this is not without fault. In fact, my, my methods to produce the golden, the rectangle that shows the golden proportion is flawed. But I wish to sh show this to you because this is, this is the naive approach to producing a rectangle that shows the golden proportion. So I will begin with a square with side 3 by 3. So I will append a rectangle to this square so that the combined quadrilateral would produce something whose uh, proportion is close to the golden ratio. Oh, this square, by the way, it, the proportion of one side over the other is 3 over 3 or 1. So what I will do now is I will append a rectangle to this square so that I will produce a rectangle, a larger rectangle, whose proportion, I hope, is going to be close to 1.618. Okay, look at this. I added one, uh, a rectangle of dimension 1 by 3, and the proportion of the longer side to the shorter side is going to be 4 over 3 or 1.33. Okay, so from 1, I jump to 1.33. My goal is to get to 1.618. So coming from 3 by 3, let's say for example I will append a rectangle whose dimension is 2 by 3. And so this is going to be the resulting rectangle. 
So what is the ratio of the longer side to the shorter side? It's 5 over 3, which is 1.67. Alright, we are now close to 1.618. But this one is 1.67. Okay, so we have to shorten 1.67 to something like 1.618. So I have to adjust this length. I have to shorten this length. And this is what I did. So this side is a bit shorter than 5. And in fact, this is something like 4.8. And so the ratio now of the longer side to the shorter side of this new rectangle is 4.8 over 3, which is 1.61. So supposedly, this rectangle is showing a proportion that is closer to the golden ratio, 1.618. Let's say, for example, I have a rectangle or a square whose side is 5. I will append again a rectangle to the square. Okay, so let's say, for example, 3.13. Okay. A rectangle whose side is 3.13 and whose longer side is, what is this? This is 5. Okay, so I will produce this rectangle. And the ratio of the longer side to the shorter side is 8.13 over 5, which is 1.626. So this one is a, a bit close. It's close to the golden ratio, 1.618. Uh, a rectangle which is supposed to show the correct proportion, a proportion that follows the golden ratio, ought to be a rectangle that looks something like this, okay? But you know what? What I did is not entirely correct because this is how Euclid defined or described the golden ratio. The length of the entire line segment over the longer segment is equal to the ratio of the longer segment to the shorter segment. So what that means is this length over this side should be equal to this side over this length. But in our example, in my example, what we did is I just showed to you the ratio of the longer side over this side. That does not carry on the, the essence of the definition of the golden mean. So let us show that my naive approach to producing the rectangle is not exactly correct. This one has the length of 8.13. This one has the length of 5. So it is approximately equal to 1.626. The ratio is approximately 1.626. But what about this? What is the ratio of the longer segment over the shorter segment? 5 over 3.13 is 1.597. And so, they are far from being equal. So my naive approach to produce the rectangle that shows the golden proportion is not exactly correct. The ratios are far from being equal. Now, I'm going to attempt again to produce a rectangle that shows the golden ratio but this time, I will need the help of the Fibonacci sequence. So what is the Fibonacci sequence? It is a list. It is a list of numbers or a list of integers. The first two integers are 1 and 1. And the succeeding integers are produced by this generating formula. F sub n is equal to the sum of the two immediately preceding uh, numbers in the sequence. So let us produce a few, a few elements of the Fibonacci sequence. So the first two elements would be 1 and 1. The next element is going to be 2 because 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. So that is how you produce the elements of your Fibonacci sequence. And you know what? If you were to take the ratio of the two consecutive Fibonacci uh, numbers, the ratio gets progressively closer and closer to the golden ratio. 1.618. 2 over 1. Okay, 1 over 1 is 1. 2 over 1 is 2. 3 over 2 is 1.5. 5 over 3 is 1.667. 8 over 5 is 1.6, so on and so forth. But by the time you get here, 144 over 89 is 1.618. Approximately 1.618. What I will do is I'm going to use this to produce a rectangle 
that manifests the proportion that is the golden ratio. So this is how I will do it. This is how I will begin. Our Fibonacci sequence has the first two elements, one and one. So we shall look at one there as a square with side equal to one. Okay, so this is one and one. So the next element of the sequence is going to be 1 plus 1, which is 2. So we are going to look at 2 as a square whose side is 2. That's it. That is the square whose side is 2. Next, I will produce the next element in your Fibonacci sequence, which is 1 plus 2, which is 3. So I will produce now a square whose side is 3. Okay? So look at this. This is a square whose side is equal to 3. Now look at this. If you were not to look at this entire polygon, this is a rectangle. And the ratio of the longer uh, of this uh, longer segment over the shorter segment is 3 over 2, which is 1.5. And if you were to look at the bigger rectangle, at the bigger rectangle, the ratio of the longer side, which is 5 over 3, 5 over 3 is approximately 1.6. So look at that. Coming from 1.5, we jump to 1.667 or approximately something like 1.66. So coming from 1.5, we jump into a larger rectangle whose ratio is 1.66. So after 3, 2 plus 3 is 5. I will now produce a square whose side is 5. That polygon is going to be this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But if you were to take this quadrilateral as one piece, it is a rectangle. And the ratio of this side to that is 5 over 3. So that is 1.66. And, and the ratio now of this longer side, which is what? 8 over 5. So this is 8 over 5, that is 1.6. Uh, let us now append another square. A square whose side is 3 plus 5, which is 8. Okay, so if you were now to take this entire rectangle together, the ratio of the longer segment to the shorter segment is 8 over 5, which is 1.6. And the ratio of the longer side of this big uh, rectangle over the shorter side is going to be, this is 13 over 8. And, and 13 over 8 is 1.625. So as you can see here, using the Fibonacci sequence, we are able to produce a sequence of rectangles whose ratio follows the golden mean. So this is the golden ratio, or the golden mean, or the golden proportion. My naive approach to producing the rectangle with the golden proportion is far from producing the golden ratio. I use the Fibonacci sequence to help me produce the rectangle with the golden ratio. So I want you to look at this. So this is the rectangle, the last rectangle which we produce using Fibonacci sequence. A rectangle whose uh, longer side is equal to 13, that is 13, and this one is equal to 8. Okay, so I want you to look at this. So this is supposed to be a rectangle that shows the golden proportion. The proportion which is phi, which is approximately equal to 1.618.